everybody, uh, this YouTube video is going to be about the difference between a custom harmonica and a regular harmonica out of the box. Here I have three harmonicas. The first one is the regular Honer Marine Band out of the box. Okay, notice the back is not open. Um, no screws are used, only nails here and here and of course on the back so everything is put together loosely with nails holding it down the comb is made of pear wood comes this is exactly how they come out of the box the next harmonica I have that I'll be comparing it to is an old 20s marine band or pre-war harmonica these uh, earlier the 20s ones were made with these little tabs some people call them mouse ears that's what I call them and on the back the most common feature is in the circle is a little star David I don't think you can probably see that anyway it's a little star David there this harmonica has been refurbished or rebuilt as they say put together with screws additionally the reeds have been tightened down with screws and hex bolts making it more airtight the pear wood comb has been sealed I feel like Vanna White so anyway um, <clears throat> this harmonica is as you will hear performs infinitely better in addition to that, it has been what's called embossed, meaning the uh, slots that the reeds sit in have been shortened using an embossing tool like a um, uh, steel guitar slide or the end of a screwdriver or a tuning fork or even an X-Acto knife. That creates a more airtight seal. The reeds have been raised up or raised down lower the action, the same action that you would see the distance of a string off of a fretboard of say a violin or a um, guitar, something like that. Um, the, they're closer, so they respond quicker. Also, um, the uh, reeds have a slight curve in them too, imitating their natural form that they'll take when they're playing. The third harmonica is a golden melody that I've customized. It's uh, been opened up a little bit on one side on the bottom here, and a little bit on the bottom on the other side too. The back has been opened up and widened by me, okay? And uh, it's been also embossed and the action has been uh, done on it like that. So let's compare. Okay, let's start first with the out-of-the-box out Honer Marine Band. Okay, now I've actually even taken this apart to make sure that it worked a little bit better. It wasn't a very good one to start, but that's what happens when you get harmonicas over the counter. Sometimes they're not very good. The Marine Band which is a very popular instrument, has a tendency to be very inconsistent. Um, it's still a wonderful harp. As is, I would never ever use one of these on a gig out of the box. Um, the only reason I even have this is it was marketed as a pre-war marine band on eBay, however it turned out not to be. So I actually have one. Let's demonstrate. <laughs> Anyway, on and on and on, I can run out of time. So then the next one, the Joe Spires made this harmonica for me. That's uh, customharmonica.com. Don't forget my website either, www.jasonricci.com. And don't forget that I have an instructional camp coming up in Boulder, Colorado, October 19th, 20th, and 21st, where we talk about all this and more. Here's the custom. So you can hear it's a lot louder. It plays better too. Here's the golden melody that I did. Did this in about an hour. So let's just compare a couple of individual riffs before we run out of time. We're going to try to cut this at the six minute mark. This is the first one, the out of the box. Compared to 
the Spears Marine Band from the 20s. Very leaky and not loud. Here's my harp. Back to the regular. <laughs> so you get the idea. Basically, um, Honer harmonicas out of the box are terrible, almost a waste of money, unless you know how to tweak them and make them better. So uh, to give credit to Honer for this instrument would be to give credit to the people that delivered the 2x4s and the wood to make this building rather than the actual uh, construction workers and, uh, or carpenters and the architect. It is just raw materials waiting to be formed into a real instrument like Joe Spires has done and I have attempted to do. Hope you got something out of this and uh, I'll do more. Thanks.